The weekend is here. It's Friday. That uh, not only means that new movies are out in theaters and streaming today, but we're counting down to the Oscars this Sunday. I think everybody knows about this at this point. We've been talking about it for a long time. Joining us now is film critic Tom Santilli. And uh, great to see you again, Tom. you got a busy weekend ahead of you. Yes, I do. It is finally here, Oscar Oscar weekend. Uh, this is like Christmas coming twice for me, you know, in a year. But it's, Oscar, it's a Oscar huge Sunday, deal. Is Sunday, man. Yeah, we got we got to yeah, get absolutely. to. We're gonna talk all about the Oscars. I know we got to get to. Let's let's talk first about what's coming out uh, to theaters uh, this weekend. There's kind of a remake of a classic coming out, right? Yeah, uh, a big, highly anticipated movie coming out. Scream Six, of course. We're up to the sixth uh, movie in this franchise. Uh, and a lot of the originals are back uh, from the past movies. They kind of mix in. You know, we know that we have um, Courtney Cox, uh, but also Hayden Penetary is in this movie and some of the people from the last movie, Jenna Ortega. This movie was uh, really good, I think, in terms of scares. People will like it if they're a part of the Scream, you know, fan base. Uh, I felt that like this movie was a lot better than the last chapter, chapter five, which I did not like very much. But chapter six, uh, it, it kind of, without obviously giving anything away, uh, usually I joke, oh, everybody dies at the end, but, you know, you can't joke that with the Scream franchise. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I, it just kind of falls apart towards the end, but I think people will like it. It's, I mean, if you're a fan of Scream, you're, I think those are really the only people that are going out. Once you start making four, five, six sequels, <laughs> what, yes. you know, you're like, okay, if you really like Scream, then you're obviously going to go see it. Um, you kind of know what you're going to get, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, and I was telling you, too, the guy, uh, Mike Shinoda, I think from Linkin Park, wrote a... Uh, He's at least got a solo song in there. I was curious to hear from Scream 6. Um, we've got uh, something else coming out for streaming. That's We're talking about kind of a classic, too. This is an odd one, too. What, what, are we talking about <laughs> Mel Brooks' History of the World Part 2 now? Oh, my gosh. I'm such a huge Mel Brooks fan. This is so cool news. But, uh, yeah, it's now all out on Hulu. It's an eight-part series. It's History of the World Part 2. Of course, the classic, cult classic uh, Mel Brooks film, History of the World Part 1, came out in 1981. So this is like kind of an homage to Mel Brooks-style humor. It's got a star-studded cast. It's really, really funny. At the end of the original movie, they did a teaser for History of the World Part Two, that was meant to just be a joke, uh, but they're finally kind of coming full circle on that joke and made it into a Hulu series. Uh, but check that out, it's all now uh, available on streaming. Wow. And then really quick too, uh, available on uh, on demand next Tuesday is a movie called Back to the Drive-In, and it's uh, a, a really good documentary about uh, drive-in theaters and what they've endured and what they've gone through over the years. And there's a couple uh, from Michigan that are featured in that film, so check that out, Back to the Drive-In on demand on March 14th. March 14th. Oh, yeah, that looks uh, really good. Um, all right, let's we gotta go and shift to the Oscars now. It's coming up Sunday. What, what do you think people can expect with this year's telecast? Do you think more people are watching now just because of what happened last year? I just feel like the, the, the ratings are going to go up because they're like, what's going to happen now this year? <laughs> but, I mean, just the, the buzz in itself from, from all the movies coming out and the great actors and actresses has got to get enough uh, to get people to watch. Yeah, I, ho I sure hope so. You know, I would love, I'm an Oscar you know, purist. I, I hope that the Oscars become a thing again. You know, uh, this is one of the most watched events of the year. It used to be at least, and it's kind of been dwindling. But there's a lot to like. There's some really popular movies that are up. Uh, Top Gun Maverick is up for Best Picture, Avatar The Way of Water. Uh, and then a, lo a lot of people are cheering for everything, everywhere, all at once. This is a really popular movie, did well at the box office, and is really killing it with critics. Uh, and it's expected to win a lot of the top prizes. Uh, Rihanna is performing. It's hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. And, of course, it's on uh, WXYZ. Airs Sunday. It starts at 8 o'clock. If you want to watch the Oscars in style, though, and don't want to watch it in front of your own your own TV, you can come out to the Oscar Gala. This is the event I've been talking about for several weeks. I'm hosting it at the Maple Theater. Tickets still available at themaplethater.com. There's a live band, raffles. We're giving away a year of free movies as a grand prize. Uh, and it's just a really, really fun event for movie lovers like myself. Uh, so if you're looking for a good time, check that out. Go to themaplethater.com. That's going to be a great turnout. I know it will be. Who do you think is going to win Best, uh, best Actor? Is it going to be? I, I'm really rooting for Brendan Fraser. I did watch The Whale, and I thought that was phenomenal, and I really just like Brendan Fraser, but it's, it's going to be for Elvis, don't you think? There's always surprises at the Oscars, but Brendan Fraser is kind of, uh, he's kind of the front runner at this point. I think, it, like you said, if anybody else has any kind of chance, I think it's Austin Butler. Anybody but those two, it would be a huge, huge surprise.
Well, Tommy, uh, I know this is a huge weekend for you, so we appreciate your time being with us every Friday, and I hope you have a great turnout uh, at the gala and, and enjoy the Oscars. We can't to, uh, hear, wait to hear all about it, and we're going to be talking all about it next week, too, so we'll hear from you soon next week. <laughs> all right, man, I appreciate it. I hope everybody gets out and uh, enjoys himself and has a good weekend. All right, Tom Santilli, MovieShowPlus.com to check out his reviews. And you can watch the Oscars this Sunday. Coverage is going to start at 6.30 p.m. over on Channel 7. Still ahead, we're going to have your forecast.